Hey guys, if you ever feel like you have a headache either in the back of your head, around your ear, or even probably more common right behind the eye, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy strategy that I use on myself as well as my patients that I find super effective to help deal with this stuff. Stick around, I'll explain why and how to do it. Okay guys, so the suboccipital muscles are located where the skull meets the neck, right in this upper portion right here. Now, think about the anatomy here. If I were to shorten those muscles, what does that look like if you're stuck on this less than ideal ergonomic setup, is that the muscles are shorn all day long, creating tension off in those headaches behind the eye. So if you're stuck, in, and that's why posture is so important, but if you're stuck in these positions all day, and you feel like you're tight here, where you got some of those headaches, I'll show you guys my favorite way that works for myself and a lot of my clients, which involves you getting on the floor, again, using your lacrosse ball. So for this particular technique, I do prefer to be on the floor, just because of the nature of where it is localized. It's just hard to put the right amount of pressure being on the wall. Now, if you're really sensitive with what I'm about to show you, you have that alternative option. So for this one, you've got to find the absolute base of the skull where it meets the neck and you place it right underneath. Now at the beginning, I think just the weight of your head, allowing the front of your neck to be really relaxed should be enough to at least get this going. And then you can start moving side to side or maybe moving a little bit more of the ball to the side, finding the areas that are tight and just going side to side. After that, if you feel like you want to progress a little bit more, again, allow it all the weight of your head on the ball. You can start doing some double chins. Like, and then, not unusual that you'll feel maybe a referral here or a little bit of soreness back there or a referral behind the eye. You could be, maybe you feel like you don't feel much of anything, go check out the left side, same thing. I wouldn't spend more than two minutes per side and then see how you feel and then the next day you can up that to three to five minutes. So just to hit all the main points again, the absolute base of the skull where it meets the neck, very important that you just relax everything and then you can start going side to side or doing double chins. I would say two minutes per side is enough and then evaluate how you're feeling and then you can up that three to five minutes afterwards. And then part two to this, to be a little bit more specific with the side parts, remember I said it's where the base of the skull meets the neck. That's right behind with the exercise that I just showed you, but it also goes out to the side a little bit. So if you want to target some of those guys, you got to put the ball in the same spot that you started, right at the base of the skull, where it meets the neck. Then I would turn towards the camera, right rotation to get the right side. And then I would do my double chins here while having my head slightly turned to the side. And if you feel like this is more relevant to you because you're more sore, it feels more tight or the referrals in your head are a little greater, then you could focus on that. Same thing for the other side, I'd place it, the bottom of the skull a little bit to the left, turn to the left, all the way to my head into the ball and start doing some double chins. A lot of people will feel more with these strategies than the ones right here, depending on what musculature is more affected. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is your gentle reminder that if you haven't done your stretches yet today, right now is a perfect time and you might as well do it while watching one of these two videos. If you have any questions with any of the content you just watched, comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys and thanks for watching.